Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you your best three ways that you can make money this week in GTA 5 Online. Now the good thing about this is there's going to be one of them that has no requirements and the other two will. So as you guys may or may not know but Rockstar Games does a weekly update every Thursday and with that they make some of the missions and adversary modes double money or triple money in RP for this week. So because of that, we're going to be taking advantage of it. And the first thing that we're going to be covering is the Hunting Pack Remix, which is Trip Money and RP for this week. Now, this is actually very easy as a lot of people are doing it, so it's not that hard to find a group. So the first thing you want to do is first make your way into any GTA Online session. You can be an invite only or a public, it honestly doesn't matter. From here, you want to press Options, Go to Online, Go to Jobs, and this is where you can choose between quick join or play job. Now, if you have someone to do this with, go to play job, go to rocks are created, go over to adversary mode, and keep on going until you find hunting pack remix. So here we go, and there's going to be a seven of them that you can choose from. And the good thing is they unlock at rank one. And keep in mind you need three other people besides yourself in order to start it up. Now, thankfully, a lot of people are actually doing this, so it's very easy to find a group. Now, if you guys actually don't have anyone to do this with, just go over to Quick Join, and then go over to Play Adversary Mode. What it tries to do is try to link you up with anybody who's starting any Adversary Mode up, and because Hunting Pack Remix is actually very popular right now, a lot of people are doing it, and you can see here, I got into a group with seven or six other players. So we're about to get a full group here, and then we'll just go ahead and start it up. So how this adversary mode works is there's going to be three different teams. There's going to be hunters, there's going to be the runner, and there's going to be defenders. Basically, what the runner has to do is actually get from one area to where they're starting all the way to the finish line. What the defenders have to do is protect the runner from the actual attackers, and of course the attackers have to prevent the vehicle from moving. Now, as a runner... The vehicle is actually equipped with a bomb, and if you stand still too long, it's actually going to blow up. So you can see here on the bottom right hand corner, if you slow down too long, it starts going up on the meter. And if it fills up all the way, your vehicle will explode and you lose that round. So with this adversary mode, everyone has a specific role and everybody has a job to do for this in order to make it work. Okay, so we lost this one. We were doing really good. We got to the very end of it. But it looks like we lost the entire match because we were runner first. Anyway, we got $47,960, and of course, for the RP, we got $3,828. So basically, I've always seen this as basically, if you're the runner for the first go, you most likely will lose the entire match, because it seems like the attackers always win. Even on my side, even as attacker, I will always win. So it's actually very funny to see that, but anyway, let's go and see what the opponent team got, because they should have had more money in RP than we did. Alright, so for this one, it looks like their total was around $74,890, and as for the RP, they got $4,052. And so there you guys go, that is your first money method you can be doing this week in GTA Online. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the second one, which will be Security Contracts. Alright, so we're starting off with our second money method, which is going to be doing Security Contracts, which is currently dull money in RP for this week. Now, in order to get started with this, the only requirement you're going to need is you need to purchase an agency. You can do that by going over to your phone, go over to internet, you then want to head over to money and services, and keep on going until you find Dynasty Executive website. Click on that, click on enter site, and now you have all these buildings to choose from. Now, to make this a little bit more convenient and easier, on the top right corner, just click on agencies, and now they give you it for them to choose from. Thankfully, this week they're actually discounted, so if you're looking to buy an agency, this week's going to be one of the best times to buy one. So, of course, once you have your agency purchased, you are now ready to go for this. So, you can see here, I am currently in my agency right now, and it looks like my wall safe has accumulated over $40,000. So, let me go ahead and get that real quick. This is actually money that you get over time by doing security contracts, so let's go ahead and get that real quick. And there we go. Next thing we want to do is actually go ahead and register as either a Secure Surf CEO or a Motorcycle Club President. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And now from here, you want to go ahead and sit down at your computer. And this is where we can actually start up security contracts. 
So from here, we're going to go ahead and log in, and on the top left-hand corner, we have VIP contract and security contract. For this, we'll be doing security contract, and they give you three different missions to choose from. So of course, for me, I like to look for the most pain one, and it looks like it's going to be Specialist Plus at $124,500. So for this one, we have to recover the client's stolen valuables, so let's go ahead and accept it. So the first thing we had to do is go to the Vanilla Unicorn Strip Club. After that, we had to go over and try to find the safe, and once you find the safe, you then have to find the same combination, which is basically going to be a sticky note with the numbers written on it, which is going to be in different areas in the strip club, but basically for me, it was on top of the bar. And so once you do that, just open up the safe, collect the goods, and then return back to the agency. And there we go, so we just got it delivered. Now, anytime you return something to the agency, it does a quick cinematic of you giving the goods over to Franklin. And then after that, you complete the mission. And so for some reason, every time you try to give something to Franklin, whenever it's one of those missions, they don't show you getting the money. But yes, we just made $127,000. And so with that, let's go ahead. We're going to go back over and do one more contract. I really do apologize, I do not know why they don't show you the money whenever you have to return stuff to Franklin. It does suck, but I guess it is just what it is. So let's go ahead, go back over to our computer, and let's try to do one more security contract. Hopefully not one of them that we have to go and return something. Okay, so it looks like our best paying one is going to be this one right here. Recover the client's stolen vehicle. I'm not doing that one because this one's going to have me enter inside the office and it won't show the money. Uh, so we'll just do this one, provide protection for the client's assets for $73,000. Are you wanting more money in GTA 5 Online, but don't want to spend the ridiculous price of shark cards? I mean, just look at these prices. You want a new car? That's $50. You want the Oppressor MK2? That's $100. And if you want some of the nicest vehicles in the game, you're looking at between $50 to $100 in just shark cards. That's more than just buying the game itself. Thankfully, this is where OP Mods comes in. They feature cheap and reliable services for your GTA 5 Online needs. They provide modded accounts and boost the game, so instead of spending a $100 shark card, you can spend $15 and get $150 million there. They currently have this available to all the old gen and next gen consoles, including PC. Thankfully to their new update that they just added on the website, looking for what you need is much easier and more simplified. Aside from GTA, they also have Red Dead Redemption 2 as well as Forza Horizon 5 mods. With Red Dead Redemption 2, you can get a gold boost, cash boost, or even modded accounts. Right now, there is a summer sale available with up to 60% off on purchases. So what are you waiting for? Go buy it now, and also don't forget to use code LEGIT for 5% off on all your purchases. Thank you, and now let's get on with the video. And just like that, we made $73,000. And there we go. So there you guys go. That's basically going to be your second money method is by doing the security contracts as they do like, give you double money and RP for this week. And so now we're going to move on to our very last thing, which is actually going to be doing our weeklies. And what I mean by that is weekly time trial. So let's go ahead and switch to our first one we're going to be doing, which is the regular time trial. So just getting started with this, our first thing is going to be our weekly time trial, which for this week is LSIA number 2. We have to beat in a part time of 2 minutes and 24 seconds, and the vehicle I recommend for this is the Shih Tzu Hukaku Drag Bike. Now this is actually going to be a pretty expensive bike, which is actually something that you can purchase from Legendary Motorsports for a price of $976,000. And of course, once you do the upgrades for it, it's going to be well into the millions, around 1.2 million. Now, if you don't have that kind of money and you still want a really fast vehicle, I actually recommend the Bati 801, which is a vehicle that you can get from Southern San Andreas Super Autos for a price of only $15,000. And once you do the upgrades, will probably be around 30 to 40k. This is a very cheap bike. Now, it's not going to be as fast as the Hukagu Drag Bike, but it's still going to be able to beat the time trial. So, of course, once you have your bike, what you want to do is first go up to the time trial. And what I like to do is actually start it up and then set a waypoint to the destination spot. So, it looks like your destination spot is going to be right over here. And then from here, just go ahead and respawn by holding down the F key for PC, triangle for PlayStation, and Y for Xbox. 
And then from here, the very last tip I have for you guys for this one specifically is try to get as far away from it as possible, but still get the indicator to start it up on the top left hand corner. So it looks like this is our best shot, so from here, we're just going to go ahead and start it up. Okay, so we were able to beat this in literally plenty of time. Yeah, and there we go. Like, we had so much time for this. even managed to mess up at the beginning, and still there could have been shortcuts that I took, and I still was able to complete this. For it, we got $102,000, as well as a decent amount of RP, and there we go. And there you guys go. That is your money and RP method for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content like this. Now, before I do it in the video, I want to quickly talk about a modded account giveaway I am doing on this channel. So let me go ahead and switch that now. Just a quick announcement before in the video, I am doing a modded account giveaway for PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X and S, as well as the Xbox One players. In order to actually be entered into the giveaway, the first thing you need to do is like this video and subscribe to his channel. After that, you want to go to this email right here, and for the subject, type GTA 5 modded account. After that, you are entered in, and the giveaway winner will be announced on December 2nd, so there you guys go. With that being said, you guys have a great one, stay safe out there, and goodbye.